I was recently exploring a bit about um, clothing in Japanese culture. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm by no means an expert on Japanese clothing or Japanese culture. Um, and I was looking less at the actual clothing and more at sort of how clothing is viewed and you know how it's approached and I, I found it really interesting because I realized that the way that it's viewed from what I can tell is really different to the, the way that we see it here. The reason I want to talk about this is because I, I actually think that there's a lot that we can learn from the way that clothing is approached and seen in Japan and I, th I think that we can learn a lot from it and I think that it would really help us and it, that it could be a really positive move for us to see clothing more similarly to the way that they approach it over there. <laughs> from what I can tell fast fashion is much less of a thing over there than it is here so it seems like generally speaking a lot of people wear a combination of traditional Japanese clothing and western style clothing I think that a lot of the western style clothing that they wear isn't necessarily made over here I think a lot of it is made there but I think that from what I can tell a lot of it is very high quality so both the traditional clothing and the western style clothing is made at a really high quality that fast fashion is is much less you know something that would be a go-to i also don't think that they have the same stigma of re-wearing things that we have over here so over here there's a big thing and i i certainly you know i certainly remember it a lot from being a teenager that there was a big thing here about you know you didn't it's not necessarily that you definitely didn't re-wear things but if you re-wore something you would automatically have those thoughts of oh but someone has seen me in this before I can't wear this because you know I wore it the last time that we went out and sometimes I think it even goes so far as worrying that you're either going to offend people and certainly if if it's nothing to do with offending people certainly that you're going to be judged for just for wearing the same old thing even if it's new just the fact that you've worn it recently and that you're re-wearing it but I, I don't think that this sort of stigma exists in Japan in the same way that it does here I think they have less pieces, that in general in their wardrobe they have less pieces but that are of higher quality and that that's such a totally different mindset to what most people have here. So here I think that we, we definitely have this thing where people will go out and I'm not saying everybody does this but a lot of people go out and you know they like to buy they enjoy the thrill of the purchase so they'll buy things of low quality you, you feel good that it's on sale and you know we've all done this and I'm sure that I've done this too and it's definitely a mindset that I would have had when I was much much younger and it's something it, it's a mindset that I changed but we, we do tend to have this mindset here where we like to go out and buy things because the fun of the buying makes us feel good and we also feel really good about the fact that we've bought something that's on sale that was cheaper but it's not special and so then we go home and it ends up being thrown in the back of the wardrobe and off you know often never to see the light of day again pretty much Here's something that really interested me. And please, if any of you watching this are from Japan, please tell me what your experience is of this. So it, it seems to me that in Japan, there's a much greater tendency to choose clothes according to the meaning that they have for you. And that it's much more accepted to firstly, you know, to, to firstly choose um, a smaller number of pieces that are really meaningful so it's much more about self-expression through your clothing which is something that I'm really passionate about but also that there's no stigma about changing your clothes and like wearing wearing different outfits let's say changing th throughout the day whereas here I don't think you would do that so much but I I'd, I'd really like to know you know what you think of this because from what I can tell 
it seems that in Japan there's much more of a tendency to wear clothes according to how you feel, meaning, mood, weather, like occasions and different types of events and that there are a lot more of those in Japan than there would be here, like celebrations and festival days and things like that. To me, that tells me that in Japan, there's much more of a culture surrounding clothing um, that's more geared towards self-expression and authenticity. And that people choose clothing and that people wear clothing according to, you know, according to what they're doing, where they are and how they're feeling. What I'd really like for us to think about is how we might be able to integrate this perspective into the way that we dress and the way that we perceive clothing here. So I think the first thing that we can do is we can look for meaning in the clothes that we buy. And that is, that is something that, you know, maybe it seems obvious, but I definitely think it's something that we don't always do. I think that we want to be looking for clothes that we feel are special. So rather than looking for the sale, rather than looking for the cheaper options so that we can feel good about our spending so that we can feel like we spent less only to go out and spend again so really we've not actually spent less overall you know we can actually go out and look for pieces that feel special to us so buy less but buy more meaningful pieces <laughs> I think we can also try to get more wear out of the pieces that we have and I think that's much easier if we're buying pieces that we really want and that do feel special because we're going to be a lot happier to re-wear them and that brings me on to the next thing which is letting go of the stigma of re-wearing. We really need to be prepared to see this in a different way and to let go of this stigma so that you know I think one thing that we could do is in, we could actually not just let go of it, but we could replace that stigma with something else. So rather than so rather than feeling um, rather than feeling bad about the fact that we're re-wearing something and worrying about judgment, we could actually not just let that go, but replace that with the thought and the feeling that actually this is a really positive thing that I'm doing because I'm, I'm getting more wear out of this piece, I'm getting so much more wear out of my wardrobe and I feel, you know, I, I feel really good about these pieces and the fact that I'm re-wearing these means that they, they're obviously really meaningful to me. So there are two things that we can do. One, buy more meaningful pieces. And two, be prepared to rewear the pieces that we have and the new pieces that we buy. And I also think that there are two things that we can take away from this overall. And that is that firstly, there's a lot that can be learned from the, the attitude and the approach in Japan to clothing. And secondly, um, I think the second thing is really important and it's that all of the pieces that we buy, all of our pieces of clothing should be special. <laughs>